r slash escritted. What is an alternative phrase to small dick energy that is not so body shaming? What if we started saying you're giving off black people energy instead? If that sounds wrong then you should understand how the phrase in question is hurtful. But white people can have black people energy, it doesn't matter your color. Okay, but how do black people feel about the term? How do people with small dicks feel about the term? Just about everyone here is missing the point entirely. Small dick energy is an insult. It's always used negatively. How would that make someone with a small dick feel? Inadequate. Shameful. It's body shaming. Peaked in high school energy. A lot of these are just insults. This is a bit dated. Acting a fool. Quit being a cunt. Heard it here first. I heard someone say that you should call it stank dick energy. You can't control the size but you can control the aroma. Smooth brain thinking right there. Loud vehicle exhaust energy. The type of guy to drive a lifted truck rolling coal. Poorly managed imposter syndrome. Your brain gives 404 errors. Small brain energy. I mean, at least it's not a visible body part. Closet Karen energy. After all, regardless of gender, the spirit of Karenicity can live within anyone. Knucklehead. Still body shaming, but not so body shaming. Pretty sure the term they appropriated for themselves, incel, has it all covered. Undersized Richard Power. Small man syndrome or beta. And I thought I was insecure. The only reason you are not killed is because it would be a waste of ammo. I always like to say, sorry daddy didn't love you, but I usually get told to stick to tiny dick instead. Guess it hits a nerve. When one of the security guards at my work go on a power trip, I call it flashing their toy badge. Reddit brewing up the most fedora comebacks I've ever seen. Can't satisfy her energy. I get the sentiment, but dick energy can handle the insult. You just say he's got a small ego. It's weird that whenever women try to shame men they seem to go with childlike insults man baby man child mommy's boy small dick. Creepy AF. The lamp that stomps on the letter I, I'm so glad they play it before every other movie they make. If they had left it at Toy Story 3, the series would have been perfect. 3 had such a solid final ending. For me it's Toy Story hands down one of my all time favorite childhood movies tie between Toy Story, Up, and Wally. -E. Coco was an absolute masterpiece, from a visual, storytelling, and musical standpoint. It created that raw, visceral, emotional response that Pixar is inhumanely famous for, but it didn't hurt you for the sake of their insatiable bloodlust for human tears that Up and Inside Out did. It hurt you because even though it beautifully wove the traditions of Mexican culture surrounding Dia de los Muertos specifically within its tale, it connected with all of us who have lost someone close regardless of ethnic background. Up was poignant, brilliant, and the first chapter is a work of art, second to none, but nothing tore me apart more than watching Miguel reconnect with his great-grandmother after spending time in the afterlife, and then having to face losing her soon after. It is a love letter to all of us who have experienced the crushing and timeless pain of true loss, in a way that offers hope of reunion and redemption, and sprinkles in humor and conflict throughout. It is the perfect film. A Bug's Life is severely underrated. The lessons to be learned about how laborers can and should rise up against oppressors and take the value of their labor for themselves instead of allowing someone else to steal it is timeless. That one scene in Cars when Rascal Flatts starts playing always reminds me of the joys and freedom found only in childhood. I just think the first Cars movie is so charming. Radiator Springs is so cute and inviting. Lightning McQueen goes through a cool character arc. And as a kid, the ending taught me that the real definition of winning is having great character. I just love it. Wally is my absolute favorite of all time. I'm a sucker for Ratatouille. I'm a middle-aged dad with kids, so The Incredibles are the obvious first choice. Then Toy Story and Wally. UUMM, I'll take Wally for 500, up. Wally, but I'm biased. The detail in the Coco movie is unbelievable.